Hello everyone, I am back and I haven't really done much in the last time we had this video together. Um, I found this little hole over from where I was over there by the village. So with that I decided to make myself a crafting table which you can make with one piece of wood that you then place into one slot. You get your wood and from there you just place it out and you get your workbench. But another step you need to basically cover when you're doing Minecraft, this is like a larger version of your little workbench, is I need sticks. Um, I need a lot of sticks. Um, and a bed, which is the one thing that I wanted to do in the previous episode. So when I want to sleep, I can sleep. But um, yeah, I can just place my bed down exactly like there i can sleep and it will take away any monsters or anything that's around unless it's in a dark area of course but um yeah it wakes you up and you're in the daylight so that's that and yeah that's another mod that i'll cover in another time so um what i wanted to do today is just show you some of the literally basic tools um of minecraft because you can't really go get started in minecraft without some basic tools so i've got myself my little wooden pick here and my wooden pick can help me snag up some of this this is cobblestone that you then can use to make a variety of stone related objects like a furnace stone tools um stone slabs you can you can use cobblestone for a lot of things but um I'm just using it right now because I want some stone tools. I have no idea what that noise is and I'm just going to ignore it. So we have 12 cobblestone here, which is more than enough to get me started. Um, so with the tools that I have now, I will now use my sticks and generate a stone pick axe for myself. And while I'm there, actually, I will just take all that wood and create some more sticks and I will make myself a axe so I can chop down trees Um, I would make a different one like a wooden one but I don't see the point and why does that change color should I be scared either way so I'm after some things which is very hard for me to see so I'm sorry if, let me see if I can change my lighting, but I don't think I can because it's already on bright. Brilliant. Yay. So maybe I should have robbed that torch and kept it. You know what? I'm going to go steal the torch. Hang on. Saying that, I'm not stupid. I know what's there. I wanted to show you what it was, but bingo. It is a piece of coal. And coal is one amazing thing that you can use for if you can't see in dark areas if you're playing with mobs on um it's a handy thing so when you go you can see <laughs> and you can see lots and lots and lots of things and hello little bat wow if only this mod pack had the morph mod i would be a very happy girl um but um yeah um this is coal which is also used to help cook things generate things machine things either way it's another raw material that you need for gameplay and um, i'll just snag that because i'm going to need the cobble anyway but um i just want to take you on this journey of how boring this game can be when you've been playing it as long as i have um, and i'm guessing anyone else who's played it as long as i have can also agree but there we go. I've just snagged up 12 coal and I can use that to make either more torches or something else. That, I still have no idea what it is. You get it plenty full of it and it's annoying, especially when you are starting out and you've got more of that than you have of anything else. But um, yeah, I'm after some certain tools right now. Um, like this, which is I've just found. So what I'm going to do is I will use, okay, I don't want any marble. Um, I'm going to use up the rest of my wooden pick to snag up the coal because you can use it on that. 
and only because you can't use it on this there is an x at the top of my or well, top middle screen that says you need to have like a stone tool now there's a little tick so i can harvest that with my stone pick which is why i really wanted to get a stone tool straight away but um i can have that two pieces of iron i can make I don't know really what I can make a sword. <laughs> I can make a sword with that. Yay! That's brilliant. Well done, Sam. You've just achieved nothing. But um, yeah, so I'm just, just going to gather a few little materials for myself. Sorry it is a little bit tediously boring, but I do have some sticks. And um, yeah, I have sticks. So yeah, yeah I can make more torches and, and light up dark areas. Ha! Huh? Yeah, that is awesome. And find more coal because it's awesome as well. As you can tell, I'm looking for like a mob spawner. Can you tell? I'm not finding one, am I? Way to go, Sam. Oh, yay! I found a dead end! Woo! But yeah, anywho, this series all lit up so I can know that I've been here in the future if I've ever come back, which I doubt I will. I'll clean all this out more than likely and take all the good ores like the copper which is just there i need that for um tinkers and thorncraft and i think no you don't need it for thorncraft i need it for some of the mods that i'm going to be going into during this series but right now all i am after are the main core ingredients like the coal the iron mainly because it's okay just starting this mod pack knowing what it's about but for people who don't know what it's about, I think basically just keep it basic, you know, because I'm basic. So, anywho, um, I've just declared that I'm officially done to the whole of YouTube. Woo! Um, yeah, I'm happy with what I've snagged for now, only because I can come back for this when I have um situated myself a little more i mean i don't have a house i have um i don't have a house i have nowhere to place any of my things everything that i carry with me is pretty much in here so if i can get myself established and set up to have like a, a home i can get myself back and forth and if i get fully loaded i can come back for more and stuff like that hey little bit bat um but yeah um it's a place i can always come and revisit i know that there are some amazing youtubers out there and they would happily just make a house in here and just make it their own it'd be just like awesome i wish i could do that but i'm yeah i'm rubbish just stating a fact um, but you know what? I may come back. So I say that. I don't know if I will. But um, I know I will come back for other reasons. So I am going to mark that out as a little mine for myself. So when I do fiddle around with the mechanics and stuff, I can come back for the extra ores, whack them in a chest, which is this little thing over here. Um just takes some planks which is dead easy you get four from one piece of wood um so yeah that was that and while i'm here i will we'll take you and we'll take you and i've just broke a flower and i didn't want to do that oh god i didn't break a flower because i didn't want that achievement i didn't want that achievement but um one thing i must state about this mod pack which i love is yes it's okay me taking things down one by one but one thing i love about this mod pack is vein miner <laughs> anyone who knows what vein miner is knows how amazing it is i've literally only just remembered that i had it now and i'm like why didn't you use vein miner uh way to go pro but i am pro i forget the most basic things so um 
Yeah, this was another little step into the world of Minecraft, which I do, and like many others do, is mining, which is a tedious thing that we all hate doing, but in order to advance anywhere in the game, um, you need to go mining to gather materials. So I have myself some more cobble, I have some more iron. I mean, five iron's not really gonna get me far in this mod pack, I need a lot more. But um, now I'm heading to just anywhere really. I can just run about and stay away from that mushroom. Then again, saying that. As you can see, it's a normal screen. You stand in the mushroom. It's a whole new ball game. And oh my. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm back. Yay! That's why I say I don't like those mushrooms. But um, yeah, um, this world is amazing from when I was test driving it before I started recording. Um, so I am eagerly excited to get started in this game. Hello my little chibis, I don't have to kill you no more. Um, I just, I am a very picky person on where I want to go, where I want to live. Exactly, you be careful down there sheep because you can't do what I'm about to do. Um, only because this place looks inviting, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I want to just have a look. I may live here. I don't know. It looks quite spacious. It looks quite big. It's got lots of... Ah! Ah! It's got a big gaping hole of wholeness and I don't have... Eh. Eh, there we go, so I don't fall down the rabbit hole, even though it's a sheep hole. But um, yeah, this place looks pretty awesome. Lots of ores everywhere, nice dense or coal ores, so you get quite a little bit more than what you would do out of a normal ore vein. Um, this is going to be definitely some place to explore. I love exploring, and every Minecraft... Uh, Minecraft, sorry, derp a lot. Um, every Minecraft world you create is as different as the one before, unless you regenerate the same world. Pretty much, then it's, yeah, it's the same world. But yeah, this place looks awesome. I could have fun with this. Oh, great, that's stupid blue ore. I really despise that ore. But um, just sticking a few torches around, lighting up the place a bit. But no, I could really make something with this. This looks pretty nifty. Lots of materials everywhere. A lovely dead end, because in Minecraft, who does not love dead ends? But um, yeah, um, and, and that is gonna come in handy, especially when I start a mod pack uh, called Tinkers, which is part of this book, which I haven't opened yet because you get an achievement, but um, when I do get to that mod pack, I will enjoy playing with more tools. You can do a lot of things with tools. I like to get a bit creative and crafty. And th that one too, Thorncraft, I like to get a bit creative and crafty there. So I'm going to leave it here and just explore this little area because I'm in a magical forest. And tell me what Gale would not like to live in a magical forest. Before I end, I'm going to say there's nothing really magical about it. It's just, it's more scary than anything. <laughs> it's more scary than it is magical. But I could mess around in here and by the looks of it, it seems like it's a pretty big mine. Lots of little areas everywhere. I don't know how far it goes. So it's something I can dwell on, explore. I'm out of torches, so I'm bailing. <laughs> I'm bailing. I'm out of here. See you later. But um, yeah, I am gonna maybe live here, maybe. I don't know how. This is where normally I say to my boyfriend, right, I wanna live here, okay. What do you want building? Anything, you get building, I'm gonna go kill things and look for stuff. Okay, see you soon. And, and that, that's it, I'll come back and my boyfriend would have like some lovely water wheel figured out there generating power and we'd be on this like magical adventure and then I'd be like oh but I didn't do anything so I don't know what's gonna happen maybe I should start a series with my boyfriend hint hint wink wink you know I know you're getting your desktop soon so yeah again hint hint wink wink 
that means hurry up but um yeah so um what is that oh it's that weird little goblin thing and another no that ore down there that looks like yeah I, 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 I can't remember what it's called there for lot that is a really handy ore to have um that hasn't got cobwebs in. There's trees like this and they have cobwebs in and they have spider spawners in or cave spider spawners. They give you a real good ouch. But um, yeah, I want to have a fiddle with this and explore and take you guys on this adventure with me. So I'm going to end here and see what little ideas I can come up with. And well, I hope you enjoyed my little experience while I wandered around this crazy Minecraft world of Mars and Nas and eh. And me doing some really random things. This is random for me because normally by now I would be a lot more advanced than anything right now. I would not be where I am and I actually thought I left that behind. But um, yeah, I'm just going to go explore and oh, I'm not going to go to bed because I placed it wrong. I'm just going to explore what I have right now because this little area, I have a thing in Minecraft where... If it looks good, thou shall build it. And the moment I saw this little area, I was like, mm-hmm, yeah, I need this. This has got to be something. Look, I can see a little node somewhere. I've just seen it. Where is it? There. I don't know if you can see it, but where my cross here is, is a node. And when I start Thorncraft, again, the opportunities are endless. But this here is beautiful. I know it might not look that to you, but when you've played Minecraft for a long time, I can the, the possibilities are endless in creating things here. So I don't know what I'm going to do, what fun I'm going to have, or how much I'm going to destroy. If that will even be there by the time I've finished with it, but I hope it is. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope it is. If not, looks like my boyfriend's making this map on a server so we can do it the right way. But anywho... I am going to end here, even though I've said that more than once. Um, have a little walk around, see what materials I can gather. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye!